Hi, my name's Christine Swan and I'm a lecturer in secondary computer science and IT at Birmingham City University. And I teach on both the postgraduate and undergraduate courses leading to QTS or qualified teacher status. Twice a year, I get to play Ada Lovelace as part of my local British Computer Society activities, hoping to persuade the next generation of young people to consider a career choice as a computer scientist or even a computer science teacher. When I grow up, I want to be a computer scientist. You don't tend to hear that very often. And I think part of that is because of the experiences that children have. Now, thankfully, computing is part of the curriculum and so they should be experiencing solving problems, developing algorithms and even coding from quite a young age. I didn't start out as a computer science teacher. Originally, I was a biology teacher, sort of drifted into it. After my children were born, I had a chance to reevaluate my career and I realised that I always loved programming and solving problems and it seemed a very natural direction to go in. Now, if like me, you enjoy solving problems and you like a challenge, then computer science teaching might be for you. I consider myself to be quite determined. I'm a little bit of a mould breaker. I like to learn new things and especially I like to have a challenge, something I can really get my teeth into. And that definitely is computer science. So we offer two pathways at BCU. So the first pathway is if you've studied a degree in a STEM subject and you haven't yet decided that you want to go into teaching while you're doing your degree, then you can study a postgraduate certificate in education or PGCE. And we offer that in computer science and IT and that course lasts for one year. If you have studied an allied STEM subject, but not computer science, so you might have studied engineering or mathematics, for example, then you can follow a subject knowledge enhancement course before you study your PGCE, just to give you that breadth, because you might have very specialist knowledge in a particular area and the GCSE specification is quite broad. So we introduce you to programming in Python, programming in Scratch, um, networks, a little bit of cyber security. There's a whole host of different topics in there to give you that breadth. Now, if you've decided that I've, I've persuaded you to consider becoming a computer science teacher and you're, you're planning on going to university, then you can take an undergraduate degree in computing with QTS. So after the three years of the, your undergraduate degree, you will be a qualified teacher ready to go into school. Now, this is quite a long way of developing your teaching skills. And over the three years, you transition from observing great teachers and learning how to teach and how pupils learn to trying out some techniques, teaching little bits of lessons, teaching small groups of pupils. And then eventually you begin teaching whole classes by yourself. And computer science is a great subject. It's a practical subject. It's a creative subject. I can turn a piece of code into music, a, a picture, an animation. I can get it to control things like light emitting diodes so I can put on a light show. So I usually have something on my desk that I'm playing with. So I've got an Arduino here and the strip of LEDs. Um, that I'm currently programming. I love creating things. It's also very satisfying being a teacher because you get to share in the joy of pupils using code to create amazing things or learning how networks work through using a simulator. It's a very, very satisfying job and definitely no two days are the same. You can also stretch yourself by doing continuing professional development courses. You can increase your own knowledge and you can learn new skills. So it's very satisfying on a personal level as well. So I hope that you found this talk interesting and that you would consider becoming a computer science teacher. We particularly want to encourage more girls into the profession. Unfortunately, there aren't as many female computer science teachers as we would like. And this is also reflected in the number of pupils taking the subject. 
it's an improving picture and I think we need to be quite satisfied that we are in the, the right direction of travel. But there's still much to do and you could play a part in that. You could be a trailblazer and you could instill some of Ada Lovelace's determination in your pupils. So goodbye from, for now and I hope to hear from you soon.